<laughs> Finally, new rules. Someone has to come to the aid of the Republican Party. I have seen more appealing lineups on an episode of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. <laughs> Now, the reason it's so hard for Republicans to run these days is the same reason the ratings for Donald Trump's show were up this year. The crazier the contestants, the more the voters like it. They keep flirting with flavors of the month where each mortifying, rabid has-been shines for a minute and then flames out in a toxic cloud like an eco-friendly light bulb. All in a vain attempt to somehow find a candidate meaner than Trump and dumber than Palin. A candidate who will meet these criteria. A, never compromise on anything or ever work with the Democrats. B, always treat Obama like he's some mysterious black guy who turned up uninvited at your country club. <laughs> <coughs> President Bagger Vance. <laughs> and C, never admit that government is useful for anything. The government is always like Snooky's vagina. <laughs> it's too big, it services too many people. <laughs> and nothing good will ever come out of it. <laughs> now, in light of these criteria, here are the only people who I see as being acceptable candidates for the Republican base. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> He's got the Trump swagger and the Bachman IQ. <laughs> like most Republican candidates, he's had multiple marriages, and like Dick Cheney, he once shot someone by accident. <laughs> Negatives include he might try to snort the campaign trail. <laughs> Ted Nugent. Known as the Motor City Madman, which is a huge plus, because he's got Madman right in his name. <laughs> in addition, terrorists will have a hard time targeting a president who dresses entirely in camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's president, no more of that pardoning the Thanksgiving turkey bullshit. <laughs> Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> For decades, he's been called a misogynist, racist, and homophobic, or what Republican primary voters call a good start. <laughs> he was inexplicably popular at the same time Ronald Reagan was inexplicably popular, <laughs> and speaks in a vernacular that the Republican base understands. Nursery rhymes. <laughs> He's blonde and white and solves all his problems with a hammer. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's penis. It has drive, it's hungry, it's very today, and it gets what it wants. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we've seen the last time it ever cozies up to a Kennedy. <laughs> and finally, and my personal favorite choice, Face Ripper Monkey. <laughs> you remember the chimp that got mad and ripped off someone's face? Well, Face Ripper Monkey has everything that appeals to the Tea Party. His very existence disproves evolution. <clears throat> and he's not a Washington insider. In fact, he's not an insider at all. Face Ripper Monkey doesn't wait around for government to solve his problems. He acts. He doesn't do nuance. He goes with his gut and for, and for your face. Face Ripper Monkey is aggressive, independent, and he's... He's... He's not afraid to prove his toughness with direct common sense solutions, like ripping off people's feet. <laughs> oh, that's it. And the best thing about Face Ripper Monkey, <laughs> he will accept not being at the top of the ticket. <laughs> All right, that, that's our show. I'm